The FBI says a man who was shot and killed during a raid in Utah Wednesday was allegedly posting threats against President Biden online. CBS News senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe has details on this. According to court filings just three days ago, Craig Robertson posted that he'd heard President Biden was coming to Utah. Robertson made a threat, saying he would be cleaning the dust off the M24 sniper rifle. A.T. Smith is a former Secret Service deputy director and CBS News consultant. In terms of extreme, this is about uh, as extreme as you can get in a threat where an individual doesn't seem to try to hide his identity and puts forth, uh, you know, uh, very violent threats that he would like to uh, impose and specifically names individuals that he would like to hurt. Early Wednesday, sources tell CBS News an FBI team tried to arrest Robertson at his Provo, Utah home, less than an hour's drive from where the president's traveling tonight. Some kind of confrontation ensued and Robertson died in a shootout. The FBI had been investigating Robertson for five months for allegedly making threats against other officials, among them Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, New York Attorney General Letitia James, and Attorney General Merrick Garland, all of them overseeing criminal or civil proceedings against former President Donald Trump. In March, using Truth Social, a platform favored by Trump, Robertson said he would be traveling to New York to fulfill his dream of killing Bragg. The criminal complaint includes allegations of more than two dozen other threats against Vice President Harris, prosecutors, and FBI agents. There is a line to be crossed, and clearly this individual crossed that line, and that's why the FBI was there today. Neighbors tell CBS News Robertson was active in his church, pro-Second Amendment, and someone known to have a, quote, arsenal of weapons in his home. A White House official says the president was briefed on the case shortly after the shootout this morning. The Secret Service referred all questions on the case to the FBI. Jeff? Ed O'Keefe, thank you very much. A.T. Smith, who you just saw there in Ed's piece, joins me now. He's a CBS News contributor and former deputy director of the U.S. Secret Service. Um, A.T., thanks for being here. You, you said a, a line was crossed. I think that's an understatement. My first question for you is, if this is something that involves the safety of the president, why is it the FBI investigating and not Secret Service? My sources have told me the Secret Service has been working with the FBI hand in hand uh, on this case since this individual came uh, to, to light, and that was back in March. Um, the Secret Service had a presence there today when the FBI executed the arrest warrant uh, and also had you know the raid that subsequently, subsequently re resulted in this individual's death. So the service was uh, there from the beginning, and, and again, with other law enforcement partners, this is how something like this should occur when somebody like this comes to light. And people say a lot of crazy and ridiculous things online, as you know, all over <clears throat> the Internet. Talk about that red line, though, a little bit. How, does, how do the FBI and the Secret Service evaluate when it's crossed into an area where they need to step in? Well, as you know, um, social media produces a lot of veiled threats every day from individuals that have certain, uh, you know, political beliefs. It's gotten a lot more uh, intense over the last few years than it was before. But when an individual issues a veiled threat, that's one thing. And that's something for law enforcement to look at. It's something the Secret Service looks at uh, for individuals who do this on a daily basis. This line that we're talking about that was crossed by this individual, he made no bones about the fact that he wanted to kill people. Uh, he, in, in terms of the complaint, they showed pictures of his uh, AR-15 or like weapons that he had, I assume, in his house on a rack. There were pictures of him in this ghillie suit uh, dressed uh, that he made reference to in, in the complaint, according to the agents, even holding the gun. So this was uh, the line that I'm talking about that was crossed where it removed all doubt uh, about what this individual's thoughts, beliefs, and his intentions were. Really quickly, we got to go, but as, as the presidential campaign ramps up here, do you expect to see more of this? I do. Unfortunately, we're at a place in this country where we've never been, and a lot of it has to do with sort of the extreme uh, violent individuals that we've seen, whether it was on January the 6th or people portraying a message such as this individual did. So I don't think... Uh, it will get better before it gets worse. Okay. A.T. Smith, former deputy director of the U.S. Secret Service, thanks for your time. Thank you.